a lot of well, the role of the number eight perhaps changing a little bit. Lawrence is always bemoaning the lack of back row moves. H has the role changed a bit? Can we demo something? Well, yesterday? I think first of all, you know, we've got so many number eights. Ben Morgan being one, Billy Vunapola. We see, um, you know, Mark Wilson up at Newcastle, um, and just seeing how much of an influence they have. Nathan Hughes at Wasps, um, you know. Uh, Manoa at uh, Northampton. I just think it's such a leading role, such a key decision making. We've just highlighted a couple of scrums, one in attack and one in defence. Wilson does fantastically well in defence. And if we can just use our demo team, Ben, just give an idea to the viewers at home some of the decision making that goes on at scrum time. We're going to start here with a fantastic scrum that probably doesn't need any additions <laughs> to it. But um, from an attacking point of view, just give, give us an idea of some of that decision making because I've seen that more and more so in, in the modern day. If you've got a dominant scrum, you know, you're keeping the ball in the base. All the number eights are just trickling along and looking to draw that penalty out of the, uh, out of the referee. But assuming you're not going to take three points a goal, which infuriates Austin Healy, which <laughs> we, we love a scrum, you know, us number eights. Just give us an idea of some of that decision-making going on in an attacking sense first. Sure. Well, first and foremost, uh, you've got to get that clean strike uh, from the hooker. So I want the ball straight back at my feet early. Um, so look, I'm, I'm looking to pack in at Channel 2 here. Um, I'm going to get that quick strike, and what I want to do is get that ball onto my right foot. Nine's going to try and put some pressure on you, so you want to keep that ball as far away as yep. you can. If we're in this attacking situation, we want to try and get our tight head to get that wheel up, to just get him to tie that flanker in slightly. So yep. we're going to get that uh, feed in from the nine, straight back to my feet, on that right foot. And now I've got the, the edge on this flanker, so I'm going to try and get out wide, get outside this flanker, draw my winger and give my... my uh, Give the winger a chance to go up that touchline. Yeah. Look, if I can't, we're going forward. So yeah. it's easy for my pack to come in and clear that right. So, so really, you want you want to get outside shoulders, and then you've either got the pass back inside, or you're looking for. Well, your that's outside it. Winger. If I can get outside him, I've got a chance to fend him there yeah. and and draw the winger, or I'm in a strong position to carry. Now, for me, defensively, this is where you really earn your money as a number eight. Um, you know, in terms of the decision making. Now we saw Wilson at Newcastle manage to get round the corner. He drew Clark. Clark went for the tackle on the outside and he went inside. So again, give us an idea because this is absolutely crucial, particularly for today's game where you've got two very strong scrummaging teams. You know, first of all, you know, where are you packing down, you know, close to your own line and what's your, your decision making? Because you really have to take control of this, don't you? Yeah, well, when you're close to your own line, it looks... You want to look for that perfect scenario when you're going to make a break, but ultimately it's about just getting the ball out and yeah. setting up the next ruck. So look, I'm going to try and put my... I'm going to set up in Channel 2 again, get my weight going through. Obviously, the uh, opposition are going to try and manipulate yeah, so us. Just, just say, for so, instance, you, you've got to have a feel at number eight, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. So if we get a wheel, then I'd follow the wheel and I'm going to go this way, but... Look, the, the touchline's here, so yeah. they're going to try and bring this scrum around. We're, we're going to pretend that we've just shifted Ben into a bit of a tight, tight corner here. So and again, are you talking to your nine? Are you same, taking control? Same sort of thing. My nine's going to take control here. Look, the nine's going to try and put pressure on. And look, if he comes up the middle, my nine's going to block him there to give me a chance to get outside. Mm -hmm. Similarly, if we go again and he's come out on the outside, my nine's going to push him out and open a gap for me to go through the middle. And I think it's fair to say sometimes you don't always get immediately over the gain line. Sometimes you've got to use your floor as the friend, Look, get, get your ball back in the game. And, and <laughs> More often than not, the nine's going to be right on the top of you yeah. and you're literally picking, he's trying to kick the ball out of your hand and yeah. you're just going to have to tuck it up yeah. and try and make a yard if you can. All you need to do is be able to recycle that ball, set up the next phase and we can get out. Can I just apologise to people at home, Ben? Sorry, if you're eating your lunch, these shorts are extraordinarily tight. Uh, I'm, re I'm really sorry about that. If kids are watching, and there's a nice Calvin. <laughs> yeah, just, just sort some of this w out. Wi-Fi, uh, please. Wi-Fi. Um,